Ladies and gents, what's up? Social Nurse here. Listen, I've kind of read up on this case concerning a young lady named Alexi Treviso. Alexi Treviso is currently 19 years old, but her she's been, been charged with first degree murder, child abuse, and tampering with evidence after her newborn son was found in a trash can by hospital staff in Artesia, New Mexico. So this young lady goes into a, an emergency department for back pain. She did not reveal to them that she was pregnant. She did not reveal to them that there was a chance of her being pregnant. She withheld this information, claiming all along that she did not know that she was pregnant, right? She denied even having intercourse, I believe. Her mother was there with her in the emergency department. Now, this case is very sad. At the same time, it's really interesting because, well, let me just say this. Many of us know that if a young lady presents in the ED department, back pain, stomach pain, some sort of pain, right? It's kind of automatic that we uh, get a sample and perform a pregnancy test, right? So the hospital did exactly that. The emergency department, they performed a pregnancy test. But still, this young lady uh, continued to say that um, there was no chance of her being pregnant. Well, she absolutely was pregnant. She had to use the bathroom. They allowed her to go to the bathroom within the emergency department. It was not in the room of where she had been placed in the emergency department. It's not like on the unit, on a medical unit or a med surge unit or some other hospital unit where the bathrooms are in the room. So she had to come out of her assigned room in the emergency department, go down the hallway to the bathroom. In that bathroom is where she delivered. So here's my question. I am not a labor and delivery nurse. However, I've done clinicals. Excuse that noise. I've done clinicals on mother, baby, and a labor and delivery unit. So I've seen uh, cesarean sections as well as uh, assisted in the delivery of a baby. And I've witnessed delivery of babies. I've withdrawn blood from the placenta. Um, I've helped with uh, mother baby and whatever nursing task were assigned while I was getting that experience and doing that clinical on the mother baby unit. And out of all the births I've seen, I've never seen not one mother silently give birth, right? We know that labor and delivery can be a grueling, uh, just a very um, grueling process, for lack of better words. Um, the actual delivery is really uh, a sight to see as well as painful for the mother. I've never seen a silent vaginal delivery. Never in my experience. So have you, any of you seen a delivery where there's just no grunting, it's silent? Uh, I, I don't know that this has, you know, I don't know, but no one heard that young lady in the bathroom. I think I saw in the clip a medical staff member. They did, you know, um, stand by the door for a second they never entered while uh, she was in there, but this girl was probably determined not to make a sound, determined not to make a sound at all. And if you, 
I know I've stood by bathroom doors before knocking and just having to enter to find out what that patient is doing in there. Uh, and typically, you can kind of hear. Uh, but I, I listen, not all hospital units or emergency departments are the same. But what I'm saying is that I don't know if determination to uh, hide that pregnancy in birth allowed that girl mind over body, over pain to remain silent or um, mute herself why, why, uh, when delivering that baby. Um, there was, there was a patient that, um, I did witness having like a really rapid delivery and oh my goodness, I can't think of the name that, um, that that type of labor and quick delivery is called, but her, Labor and delivery was quick and short. It was really interesting. And that baby came out so quick. The baby even came out of the vaginal canal kind of quickly. It was like, whoa. And, and that's not me trying to be funny, but I wonder, I'm speculating, I don't know. I'm wondering if Alexi Treviso had a, uh, precipitous labor, right? A quick labor and delivery. Uh, and let's talk about the placenta. I mean, how did she detach that placenta? I want to hear more about this case. Now, my understanding is that there are people that want to uh, have her removed from a college that She's planning on attending and she certainly should not be allowed to be a nurse um, or anybody that deals with other people, right? I, I think her lawyer is trying to set up the case in a way where the hospital staff is being blamed for the uh, what happened to the baby. This lady even went on a diet pill during the pregnancy, I'm pretty sure that diet pill has like a black box label. You know, it's a type of medication that um, should not be taken during pregnancy, right? But there's a lot more with this case. I'm going to continue to follow it. But I mean, any of you out there have ever seen or witnessed um a mother give like a silent birth, even with that lady that had that quick labor and delivery. Um, and I actually saw the livery. Even she, she made a noise. I mean, she did. I'm not going to try to mimic her, but even though that baby came out of there real fast, there was a uh, panting. She made a noise <laughs> during that process. So I, I'm just curious. Um, Again, I am not a uh, a uh, labor and delivery nurse, although I've done the clinicals there. That is not a, a specialty that I have. So maybe you all know something that I don't know. Alexi Treviso is a very interesting person. Perhaps she was able to mute herself with determination. Mm -hmm.